The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today what we're going to be talking about are the new flashback cards that were added to Madden 17 Ultimate Team today. Those are, of course, Donald Penn and Antonio Cromartie. Pretty exciting stuff. Uh, anytime we get new flashbacks during like the middle of the week like this, it's kind of cool. So we're definitely excited to see that. Um, they do also have the flashback solos that are currently in the game that will get you a flashback badge. So that's pretty nice. Although the flashback badges, uh, you know, they're so easy to get that it's not a big deal. But um, basically right now, guys... There, like I said, there are two new ones. Donald Penn is the first one. The second one is Antonio Cromartie. Obviously, the Cromartie is the one that I think most people are excited about. He's a cornerback, of course, um, a nice tall cornerback, so that's always a big advantage. Uh, but I want to show you guys here, when you go onto the auction house and you try and find this Antonio Cromartie, the cheapest one right now that I'm able to see on the PlayStation 4, it looks like this one was just added, 650,000 coins over here on the PlayStation 4. So very, very expensive to get this thing. Um, now, my opinion is that this card is very, very good. It's a 90 overall. It's a 48-hour only card that you can pull right now. So definitely, if you're interested in this thing, go out there and try and rip some packs. But I don't think this thing is worth as much as it's going for. Like I said, 650K right now. I know it was going for even more earlier in the day. Um, but I want to show you guys real quickly here. This is the the throwback to the game where he ex intercepted Peyton Manning, by the way, guys, uh, three times so that the Chargers won. Um, kind of a cool card throwback to, uh, to back in the day. But anyway, if you click on compare here, this is what I want to do here. Now, obviously, we're not going to compare it to the limited use Josh Norman because that card is still pretty damn OP for all the attributes that it has but what I want to do is compare it to something that's even a little bit worse than it so like if you look at this Antonio Cromartie and you compare it to Darius Slay it kind of blows Darius Slay out of the water but you start to go down and you start to take a look at some of these other guys here and specifically the one that I want to compare him to is Stefan Gilmore because I'm telling you guys right now I don't think this 85 overall Stefan Gilmore is that much worse than the Antonio Cromartie uh, and this card is going for way way less like you can acquire this thing for for quite a bit cheaper uh, I think you actually do it in solos if I remember correctly I don't even know if you can sell that thing but um it, this thing is is in my opinion it's really not that much worse and then there's obviously like the Malcolm Butler team hero that's not much worse either but this one specifically I thought was kind of interesting because he's kind of balanced like Antonio Cromartie now don't get me wrong he's not better I'm not going to come out here and tell you that Gilmore is better than Cromartie but like look the speed and acceleration are both in favor of Gilmore and by the way, Antonio Cromartie, a flashback Cromartie, you're only going to give it 89 speed? Come on, EA. Like, seriously, like, do you want to have any excitement for these cars ever? I mean, these things are just going to be trash by the time that you start to put out good cornerbacks, like legitimately good cornerbacks. I don't understand the point of making him 90 speed. Can we get a damn corner that has a 92, 93 speed, please? Please. I mean, there are receivers that are getting up there at this point. We've got to have defensive backs that can keep up with them. So, in my opinion, this is a little bit disappointing on the speed aspect of things. Agility-wise, definitely Cromartie's in, in favor. Uh, you, you take Cromartie in favor of Gilmore. Man coverage and zone coverage, he's a 90 in both of them. Now, that's only two better than Stephon Gilmore in man coverage. Four better in zone coverage, so he is a little bit better. But if you watched Gut Fox's video recently, and I will leave a link to that in the description below... Gut Fox actually goes in and explains kind of what zone coverage does this year, and I don't think it's what people expect it to do. Your zones, for the most part, are going to play the zone itself the same, regardless of if you have 99 zone or, like, 25 zone. It doesn't even matter. They play the zones pretty much exactly the same this year. What zone coverage does do, however, is it makes it so that your player breaks on the ball when the pass is thrown a little bit quicker. So that's definitely helpful. And then the other thing that it does is it's actually used to help swat away the ball on jump ball situations. So that's kind of interesting. Again, I'm not saying that the uh, that the Cromartie is bad, 
But in my opinion, like the zone coverage is not that substantially different at a 90 than Stephon Gilmore being an 86, given those two things that it does. So keep that in mind. Their play recognition is exactly the same. And again, in Gut Fox's video, he broke down what play recognition does. And it's basically the attribute that determines whether the offense is running or passing specifically on play action passes. So uh, again, they're identical in that. Now the catching is where Cromartie really has him at an 83 versus Stephon Gilmore only being a 70, but I also want to show you guys some of the other things that are kind of not hidden necessarily, but things that you wouldn't really consider as much. Um, I want to take a look at specifically the uh, the run defense because neither of these guys are spectacular against the run, but you take a look at like hit power, for example, Stephon Gilmore being a 71 versus Antonio Cromartie being a 58. That's pretty damn significant if you really think about it. Even things like block shedding, they're actually the same in block shedding. Um, but those types of things are important when you're trying to stop a, a, an a opposing running back. 67 tackling versus 63 tackling. Again, not substantially different, but definitely something to consider. Um, so basically, that's my opinion on it. I don't think that this Cromartie is worth a whole, you know, 650000 right now, especially when there are other cornerbacks that are substantially cheaper that are, you know, not maybe as good, but damn near as good. I just don't think this thing is worth anywhere near what it's going for right now. But hey, if you pull it and you want to sell it, I definitely would do that, man. It's definitely worth doing that. Now, the other card that came out today, and I won't spend as much time on this one, is Donald Penn. Now, obviously, Donald Penn being an offensive lineman, we don't expect him to be um, anything like crazy good or anything. But I, I'm a little bit disappointed in this. I don't remember what his overall is off the top of my head. And it doesn't even look like he's up for auction. So that should go to tell you. It looks like there's nobody doing this set right now. I wonder wonder why no one is doing this set. Well, probably because it's freaking almost impossible to complete the damn flashback sets this year with how rare the flashback collectibles are. Like, it's so insanely expensive to create this Donald Penn. So guys, here is your Donald Penn, okay? Now, Donald Penn, obviously, this is a left tackle, so we don't really expect to pay as much for offensive linemen in Madden. I mean, offensive linemen, in my opinion, this year are definitely more significant than they have been in the past years. But still, it's still an offensive lineman. It's not a wide receiver. It's not a corner. It's not a quarterback or a running back. So we don't typically expect these to be quite as expensive. But unfortunately, in this case, they are extremely expensive. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do here, if you want to do this Donald Penn set, is that you do have to put in a flashback badge. Again, you get one of those today by doing a solo challenge if you want to. Um, then you're going to need to do each of these collectibles. So the first one here is going for $125,000 for the cheapest one. So already we're talking about a minimum of 125000 sp spent on Donald Penn to create him. That is extremely expensive for a freaking uh, left tackle. Like, that is absolutely insane. So 125000 plus 85000 So we're already at, what, 105000 already? Like, that is extremely expensive. So 105000 plus 55000 So we'll call it 160000 then we go to the next one, which is another 70,000. So we're at 230,000 coins right now. 230 plus another, we'll call it 85. Let's call it 90. So we're talking about well over 300,000 coins right now to create this flashback Donald Penn. That is extremely, extremely expensive and totally not worth it. I can't imagine why anyone would do this set right now, at least not until the collectibles go down. But once the collectibles are out of packs, they're extremely expensive to create again. Like, go back and take a look at some of these here. Even, like, you go back here and look at, like, let's say the, uh, let's say Nick Foles, for example. I think Nick Foles is, like, one of the cheapest ones. But even he is still expensive to create. You're still talking about, you know, 20,000 coins per collectible almost on average. Like, it's absolutely insane to sit here and try and create uh, 10,000 for this one or 5,000 even. But even still, it's still extremely expensive to create quarterbacks even that aren't even that good. And so when you're talking about a left tackle, talking about over 300,000 coins. Now, granted, I love Donald Penn. You guys know that from Madden 25. But it is just not even remotely worth it this year to do these flashbacks. And I do not understand why they don't make the collectibles a little bit easier to pull in packs. If they want anyone to do this set, they need to make it so that the damn collectibles can be pulled. It's so frustrating at this point. It's so obvious to the rest of us that play this freaking game that the damn pack odds need to increase. But for some reason, they just do not increase the pack odds. I do not understand it. It's extremely disappointing. And I'm a little bit frustrated about it, man.
So uh, that is going to do it for this video. I want to hear what you guys have to say about these flashbacks. I, I mean, to me, they're just – it's – it's unattainable to have them on your team. If you're trying to have any sort of like a reasonably priced team, it's just ridiculous to try and get Donald Penn or um, or Antonio Cromarty. I don't, I just don't understand why anyone would do it unless they're just trying to have like the highest overall team possible. In which case, yeah, go ahead with your highest overall team. And at the end of the day, it really doesn't make that much of a difference and you're spending thousands of dollars. So um, yeah, I, my opinion is totally not worth it to do these sets or to, to try and pull for the Cromarty. I mean, obviously if you get him, great, but I wouldn't be pulling a ton of coins for him um, just because I, I think my my guess is that he has to drop in price when people actually start to take a look at this card and compare it to other guys. I just don't think he's worth it. Yeah, he's a little bit taller than some of the other corners that are around the same price, but he's not like the old Antonio Cromartis that we've had in Madden 15, I think Madden 16 and Madden 25, where he was just so overpowered. This is like a good cornerback, but it's not even the best cornerback in the game right now. So to spend 700, 650,000 coins on him is insane. And obviously, 350,000 on uh, Donald Penn is just ridiculous as well. So, I mean, you're talking about nearly a million coins to get these two flashback cards today. Like, I just don't understand how they can justify that, considering that these cards really aren't that good. So, again, guys, I want to hear from you guys. What do you have to say about this? Do you agree with me? Do you think that, uh, I mean, obviously, I think everybody's going to say this, but do you think they need to massively increase the odds of pulling at least the collectibles out of these things? Or, you know, what? What needs to happen? Because I don't I, I don't see anybody, why anyone would make Donald Penn right now. I really don't. I, it's just not worth it. So, again, guys, thanks so much for all the support. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, quickly do me a favor and drop a like on it if you would. I would greatly appreciate it. It does help out the channel a lot. Thanks again. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.